fuselage is starting to look a lot more like an SE-5A. Over the past few weeks, I've mostly been working on the plywood parts of the fuselage. I've worked on the back where the tail post goes, and I've added a new aerodynamic fairing right here. Um, there's also a new back and headrest, as well as a dash and floor. And I've also added these bulkheads up front. There's two big things that it's still missing. It doesn't have the plywood skin that covers the front half of the fuselage. It's turned out to be a lot harder than I expected to find 8th inch plywood. So that's been a bit of a roadblock. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do about that. And it's also missing a ton of wire bracing. I have some ideas for how I'm going to tackle that, but um, I've still got a lot of testing to do, so we'll see how that turns out. But it's, it's starting to kind of look like an SE-5A, which is really exciting. Here's a closer look at the plane. It's come a long way since the last video. Um, the very back is almost ready to have the tail post installed. And here's a look at the fairing. I've removed the baggage compartment for simplicity's sake. Here's the pilot seat. And here's the front bulkheads. You'll notice that some of them aren't glued in yet. One thing that you may have noticed is that there's no passenger seat or passenger backrest. And that's because I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to add that or not. I'm leaning towards doing it, but I'm still agonizing over the decision. Another thing that may change is I might end up replacing the floor. It's a little on the flimsy side right now. Thank you for watching. If everything goes according to plan, my next video will be an engine update.